Hey guys, I'm Mega G Wolf, and welcome back to Mobius Final Fantasy. You guys seem to enjoy the last one, and I've been wanting to continue doing the Final Fantasy VII stuff. And as you can see, I've had uh, quite a bit of an upgrade since. I've actually got a lot more levels and I've unlocked the Devout class. Devout, is that how you pronounce that? I think it is. But either way, it's a really cool class that kind of has some mage and holy kind of abilities. It's a healer in multiplayer, which is kind of cool. And I've also found out that the seven event actually scales to whatever level you are. So it doesn't matter when I do it, which is really awesome. So I'm going to go into the Maker Reactor and see what is inside. I have no idea what to expect, but we've got some really cool new abilities now. You guys gave me some hints and tips, and I also found out that you can have a fourth ability slotted. I don't think we're in Palamecia anymore. What is this place? So many guards. I wonder what they're protecting. You don't know either, huh? You. I told you to leave. You told me to leave that place, and I did. Now I'm here. Hey, Spikey! Tell us your name, or else! Manor dictates that we name ourselves first. I'm the legendary spirit Echo, and this lug here is my servant. His name is... I'm Cloud Strife. That was quick. Cloud, as I said before, you fight well. Did you receive training? I used to be in Soldier. I see. Huh? Well, well, wait a minute! Did he just... Did you just respond to me? You can see me? Of course. Why wouldn't I? Don't mind her. That's who she is. I don't envy you, then. Thanks, I guess. Unbelievable! I don't think he's that bad. I think I like him, actually. Ugh, you know that's not what I meant! Oh? Just run after him! Come on, hurry up! Okay, okay. I love these story things, they're so stupid, I love it, it's great. Cloud's location is displayed on an icon on the map, he can sometimes lose you and his icon will disappear. Guess where he went and try to catch up with him. Oh, okay, sure. That's great. So yeah, I actually didn't realize you could have like a fourth fucking skill on there and I was being a stupid. So that was always a good time. Let's go here. Yeah, let's do it. What kind of ability do I want to bring with me? I can also shuffle these a few times and I didn't realize I could do that either. So I learned a lot of stuff in my time away. Let's go fire get impulse. And I'm, I guess I'm just walking around the place, right? I don't know if there's going to be any boss fights. Hopefully. But, uh, time to show you my new abilities! Oh, they're, just, they're just medical teaming up in here. Plus, with this ability, or rather with this uh, job, I can attack four times before having to take a break. Which is pretty cool. Unguard? Oh, they got rid of my defenses. Interesting. Okay. I'll protect against the fire. But yeah, I wanted to uh, I wanted to save the uh, event stuff for the videos, considering I thought you guys might like seeing me go through these. Now this is my favorite move now because being able to break them is really really good, and especially with the shine shinga impulse, it makes their break gauge go in the red really easily. So then I can just save my abilities for when they get broken to do a lot of damage, which is very useful. So it's gonna, it's gonna be uh, a case of me destroying some fools this time around. Oh man, am I taking these guys out in one shot? Oh god. <laughs> this is a bit of a difference. Last time it took me a little bit of time to actually get this far. Okay, first of all this. Ba-boom! Second of all, get a break instantly. Though, I don't really want to use Fire Get Impulse, so I guess I'll just raise my resistance for now. Oh, one of them... Oh, one of them is? Oh, I didn't realize a few of them are ice. Whoops. Uh, well, I'll use... I'll use Blizzarga on you. Dang. Alright. And I'm also going to use a Soma Drop, which was a card I got from a... Uh, a drawing from the 7 remake 
thing. Like you got skills and abilities from there. You can actually get Cloud's job, or like the Cloud job, they call it, uh, as a special from the remake draw, which apparently is really strong. I wouldn't mind getting it, but you have to get a lot of job tickets or like draw tickets. Uh, summoning tickets specifically is what they call them. So I will use Shinga Impulse. Just for you. Because when I break them, then I'll be able to use Fire Impulse. And it will do a lot more damage. A ba boom! What do I want to use? Nah, it's probably going to be better if I use this. How much damage does it do? <laughs> Jesus! This is why I need to level up my skills. Because <laughs> holy shit! Nice! Did I get any cool? Oh yeah, I did actually get some cards, didn't I? So let's hope that we got something nice. And our cards are nothing that we haven't got already. So that's fine. No, thank you. Okay. And a chest for our troubles. Ooh. Metal cat car. Nice. Oh, and 3,000 gil. That's okay. Oh. Ah, I thought I'd be able to get right there. All right. Let's go here instead. I'm hoping that I see something cool to bring with me. Lowers target's attack. Sure, we'll get that. Why not? I should actually be able to go quite far in this in this video, considering these battles take a lot less time now. I'm actually in chapter two in the main story, because I completed all of chapter one. But a few of you guys have decided to play it since then. Hope you're enjoying it. Seems like a lot of people are into this. A lot more people than I realized, which is cool. So let's try this. Okay, so it is just an attack down. Okay. I wondered if it was an actual attack or if it's just a, a debuff. And these are all guys I can defeat in one hit. I haven't even needed to use an ability yet. Oh, spoke too soon. Okay, so these guys are all fire. I'm going to increase the fire resistance. The thing about the elemental drives like that is that it also basically makes you stop getting that element for that turn. So it's useful for like, I don't know if it's like 100%, but it lowers it at least. So it's useful for uh, times like that where I want to get specifically stuff to go against a certain type of element. Hoo oh my god. <laughs> that was awesome. And considering I have Nirvana, I think it is, the staff I'm using allows me to draw light energy more often. Having stuff for Shine Game Pulse is like quite common. Ooh, that's a new card. Nice. An ice like melee hit? That's pretty good. Let's catch up with Cloud. Oh, what's this first, though? Oh, nice! 500 uh, water ice uh, skill seeds? Yeah, alright. Let's go to Cloud. Okay, so I'm gonna bring Alexander. I like Alex. Only two hearts for a wall that pretty much makes me invulnerable for a few turns? I'm okay with that. Alright. Oh, just more of these guys. I don't mind. They're easy. Easy pickings. Could use my ability, but I'll store them up for now. I don't actually have any grass this time. Which is nice, because it means that I have all my abilities that I, uh... I don't have one, uh, uh, element that is just kind of wasting the time. Oh, I should probably use this first, actually. Whoops. Never mind. Because I could have broke him. Now he's all first aided. Machine gun. Mind you, I wouldn't have had anything to attack him with. I'll just use Shine Go again, since it's my only ability. Oh my god. So if you use a warrior class and go into this, uh, you, we got the card last time you saw it as a, as a weapon, actually. We got the uh, Mana Moon? Masa Moon? Something like that. The sword that um, Sephiroth uses, I think. And that thing is really good, actually, because as you use it, or as you use abilities, there is a small chance that the elements that you use will turn into rainbow ones, which can be used for anything, and that's fantastic. Like, that is a really good ability. I wish that you could get that on others, but or at least there might be a staff that does it, but right now I don't know of it, so. But it's really cool. Good thing I resisted 
all this. It's time for the fire move. Boom. <laughs> well, at least I'll have uh, at least I'll have the shine get move when I break him. Bam. Oh, I get to use it twice. Nice. Boom. Oh, I, I didn't even need to. So have I caught up with him, or is he gonna start off somewhere else? Oh, hey, we reached a new uh, level, which means I get all my stamina back. And then some. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I actually used one of my elixirs to be able to make this video, but I have like 20 of them, or had 20 of them, so it's fine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Yay, worth it. What do you want? A few answers for starters. What is this place? This? This is a Mako fact reactor. Right, but what kind of actor is a Mako... Makori actor? <laughs> You're not serious. We are, actually. We don't know what any of this is. Can you tell us? Alright, I'll humor you. Mako reactors are facilities that pump up Mako energy from the planet. That energy is used to power lights, machinery, trains, practically everything in the world. That's impressive. Maybe, but every technology has a downside. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet. Take that away and the planet dies. Mako reactors are essentially killing the planet. What happens to the planet when all the Mako is gone? Who knows? Maybe it explodes. Maybe it becomes a cold lump of rock. I don't think Shinra even, even knows, but I'm not willing to find out. Who's Shinra? You seriously don't know? Are you alright? We're fine. It's just that while all this is familiar to you, None of this, Maker Reactors, Shinra, those soldiers, belong in Palamecia, including you. Again with Palamecia, the world of hope unbound, unbound, right? I'm not interested in fairy tales. What do you think is a fan- <laughs> What do you think is a fantasy is unfortunately my reality. Can we go back to the part where the reactor is sucking up life out of the planet? If it's here, doesn't it mean it's taking life away from Palamecia? Maybe. You brought this with you. You have to help us figure our way out to stop it. As I said, not interested. God, this guy. Hey, wait. What's up with him? Why don't you go ask him? We have no time for that. Come on, we need to find a way to stop this reactor. Oh, okay. Opening locks for switches. Security locks bar the paths within a Mako reactor. Each lock is opened by pressing a specific switch. Okay. So it's like Mario World, <laughs> I guess. Troll Route 3, let's do it. Yeah, mate. I will get uh, none of these. I will get, n they're pretty much the same. I will get, whatever, I got Flame Sting, that'll do. We'll just go in and kill everyone. I'll press the button and then call it good, I think. Oh, these guys! These guys are easy! Oh, come on. Should be able to take these out in one hit. Whoosh! There we go. Just barely. Ooh, two big guys. That ain't too bad, though. All I need is enough to use Shinga Impulse. Yeah, there we go. And I can break you. Of course, then I don't really get much other choices. Flame Fang, I suppose. Ooh, done a lot of damage. Not too bad, actually. Use oh no, I probably should have waited. Damn it! I didn't think about that at first. My B, my B, not optimal. How dare? Don't matter that much though, considering this thing's pretty powerful anyway. I always wonder how much uh, the blizzard is going to do on a fire guy anyway. Uh, this will do. Is this just a single target? I think it is. Yeah. Fair enough. Didn't really need to use it on him either. God damn. I'm just too powerful for my own good. It's hard to know where I should use stuff. Uh, sure. Sure. There you go. That actually broke him pretty nicely. Shanga Impulse. Whoosh! Using Devote, Devout wasn't actually that great when I first got it, because I actually had it during my last video as well, my first video. I actually had it then, but I didn't have any light abilities, so I couldn't use that 
element at all, which sucked really. So now that I've actually got a light ability, it's really nice. Hey, some wind. Open the chest and... Because I'm mature like that. All right, let's go and press that button. Uh, I'll bring Wazi along. Why not? Cat butt face. He's got haste. That might come in handy. I don't know how powerful the haste is. Usually the haste I get from Soma Drop is uh, like three, like two extra turns, I think. So that's pretty good. Shanga Impulse. Oh, critical hit. Nice. I think there is a way that you guys can follow me and use my dude as like one of your assistance skills. I think I need to show you a code of some kind. All right. So this is four battles. I wonder if there's going to be a boss in this one. Uh, sure. I'll use it on you, even though you're going to be resistant. The other two aren't. <laughs> oh, dang. All right. Nice. Oh, hey. It's kind of like a boss battle almost. Close enough. Um, I will... I'll protect for the time being there. Now. And then I was meant to do this first. Then I'll use this. That'll probably, yep, that'll take him down to zero. Break him. And then Blizzaga. Also, I did find out how to change target. It is literally just the target view and you can change target. I originally thought that was just a different view, not you being actually able to change target. So my bad. <laughs> Things I found out afterwards. This boss wasn't too bad, actually. Huh? Yeah, down he goes. Nice! Alright, now we get to press the button and move on to the Shinra factory. Ooh, I got a cactar. Is that all? Okay. Whoa! Alright! Now with that unlocked, we can go into Shinra Factory. So I think I'm going to stop it there. Thank you for watching this episode on Mobius Final Fantasy. If you're enjoying it, then do tell me and I'll continue just doing the 7 stuff for now. And then maybe I can show you some other things of interest. Like the multiplayer is crazy. I'm not really set up for the multiplayer yet. I haven't played it long enough. But that is pretty interesting too. So maybe I'll bring some guys on for that. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Throw us a like if you did. I will catch you next time. Take care. Okay, thanks. Bye. Come on!